So my name is Jennifer Lawrence and I'm from Seaford, Virginia and I'm a double major in biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology and genetics and neuroscience. We're looking at sex-based differences in the onset of neuropsychiatric disorders. So differences in why males get schizophrenia more often than females do and why females get MS more often than males do. And we're doing this by looking specifically at microglia, which are the resident immune cells of the brain. In the long term, we're looking at ways that we could prevent the onset of these diseases. So we could potentially not even have to cure the incurable diseases, but if we could stop them from happening is like ultimately the goal that our research could contribute to. Um, so what we do is we take cells that were initially like in like a living brain and we take them and we want to grow them on our own in a dish. So we take them from that like living study and then we put them into a dish and we treat them with different things and we feed them with different kinds of media and we look at them under microscopes and take pictures of them and we carry them around, they're like our children and we keep them in this little incubator so they're nice and warm and happy and then eventually our end goal is we're looking at what kind of proteins those cells are making and like what their genes are doing that's different between the two sexes. We could give them some kind of like immune challenge and so the males may all die. They may be like, oh my god, I can't handle this, and they all die. But the females are like, we're fine, and they keep living. And what does this mean if it was back in that living brain? What does this mean for real little baby boys, and what does this mean for real little baby girls? And then from there, we just take it one step at a time, and we crunch the data, and we look at the numbers, and we see where we want to go from there. What's really neat about this lab is that um, keeping the specific brain cells that we have alive in a petri dish for four days is actually something that nobody else really does. Um, like things that nobody else has done are still definitely something that you can do. You just have to work at it.